recent failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank caused a financial crisis in the U.S. last week. On Monday, trading in a number of banks' stocks were suspended because of elevated volatility during pre-market hours. Such banks included Metropolitan Bank, Regionals Financial Corporation, East West Bank Corp, and Western Alliance Bank Corporation. Now, despite the actions that the Feds are taking, confidence has been lost. Even though attempts were made to restore liquidity in the banking industry, as an example, shares of First Republic Bank dropped 66% this morning. As a result of all the unrest in the U.S. banking industry, the price of Bitcoin is still rising. Now here's why I think we hit a bottom. Just kind of looking at the Bitcoin chart from a macular level. Okay, we had the surge in January where Bitcoin rose roughly, I don't know, 40 plus percent. After you get a huge rise in price, you know, you, you price is going to take a breather, right? This is a doji candle representing February, right? So this is kind of like the breather. Now we did have a pullback, right? You had investors taking profits. But now we have this bullish hammer on the news from recent events such as Silvergate and Silicon Valley Bank and people wanting to get their money out of the banks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What you can also see is that the, the 20,000 level was previous resistance during the last bull market. And what did we do in March so far? We came back down, tested it, and now we're up several thousands of dollars. Now, I'm not saying that we're not going to retest the lows near 16,000 or we'll even go a little bit below that maybe to 14,000 where you have this other pivot high but what I am saying is that we bottomed and you have to put this in, into perspective. Even if we drop $10,000, look at where we came from, roughly 70K. Now, if March can close above the <clears throat> downtrending 13 simple moving average, that would even be more bullish. <clears throat> So here's the game plan for price to make all-time highs over the next, say, 12 to 18 months. We need to close above the 13 simple moving average. Once we do that, expect the test at $30,000. Once we breach this level at 30,000, look for price to move higher. There's going to be some resistance, but not much, at 38,000. Once that's taken out, you're going to have a resistance at 48,000. Once that level is taken out, <clears throat> you're going to have a little bit of resistance at 58,000. Once that's taken out, you're going to have them resistance at 68,000. And once that's taken out, you have a spike, a pullback to all time highs or recent all time highs, and then a march to 100K. Over the next 12 to 18 months. Now, a lot's going to depend on price getting there. <clears throat> obviously you have the Bitcoin having event coming up next year but
because of all the news that happened this past weekend, week, the feds are going to pivot very soon. Sooner than what was anticipated. We can already see that in the bond rates. They have been moving up because uh, interest rates have declined <clears throat> in a span of literally overnight. So, I was expecting Bitcoin to get down to 12. That's where I was going to buy. And again, it could still get down there, but it's not about it. Not a bad idea to start dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin for the longer term. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please hit that 